Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mama Mia, formerly known as the Middle Age Mom Does Crypto. It is January 7th, 2021 of a already crazy year ladies and gents my goodness seven days into the new year and we are ready are experiencing some craziness that just carried over from 2020 apparently not just in the world but guess what even in the crypto space and that's what i'm going to be talking about today ladies and gents today's lesson of the day in the video is don't fall in love that is right and of course read my disclaimer if you have not already it's at the beginning of the video or on the bottom in the description. But yes, what is today's lesson? Ladies and gents, don't fall in love with anything crypto. I have learned this lesson the very, very hard and expensive way. Yes, I have. I could have probably paid for a whole like year or two of college tuition for what I spent and learned the, the hard and difficult and expensive way. But I just want to bring it up because things have fallen very recently. What am I talking about? I am talking about Mirror Trading International. That's right. That was, I mean, it, it's been a while now, but it's still pretty recent within the last few months. That's right, it, the, the site is still up, but guess what, ladies and gents? Trader MTI enters liquidation and the CEO is on the run. Look at this, they have defrauded over 644 million worth of crypto. MTI, that is right. They're unable to withdraw their funds. And you know what, ladies and gents, I have to say I've lived through this, not with MTI because I, did not get involved with this platform, but with something like, no, in fact, not with something like exactly with BitConnect, with USI Tech, etc. I have lived through this kind of, uh, what do you call this, aggravation, frustration, etc. So ever since then, and ever since listening to the right people on YouTube, you know, people like the Oracle, Nobody Crypto, Crypto Muscle, just people who have lived and learned their lesson or have knowledge that I may not know or not be as a uh, you know, quick to pick up. So that's why I watch a lot of other YouTube channels to get this info. But I, I particularly pay attention to their channels because they seem to have the winning formula or the right information or whatever the case may be. But yes, check it out. MTI has been liquidated or enters liquidation and the CEO is nowhere to be found. So again, what is the lesson? Don't fall in love and withdraw 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 you know my motto of course not financial advice please don't take any of this as that but that's what it is this is why my motto is withdraw 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 till you can't withdraw anymore and know that everything every single platform no matter how much you love it how great you think it is it will someday fold like there's not even a whole lot of businesses out there, like as far as brick and mortar that lasts forever, right? I mean, just look at some of the bigger stores like JCPenney's or, you know, the things, stores like that, you know, they don't live forever. They slowly fold within themselves or evolve into something that we don't even know or don't recognize anymore. So, or just flat out close. Sports Authority, anybody remember that? I do, I miss it. But yeah, that was a big company, but look, Look, they too have folded. And this was even before the Roni Ronas. So can you imagine what the Roni Ronas is are is gonna do to a lot of a lot more companies? I can only imagine it 2020 was just the, the beginning. It was just the appetizer apparently of things to come. So be, best get ready for the main entree, ladies and gents, which will be ongoing for the foreseeable future until we figure our caca out as a country, as a world, right? So what else recently folded? Oh yes, Finalmente. In fact, if you try to log in Finalmente Global, if you try to go into their website, this is what you get. Dear members, it is with a heavy heart. We have to inform you that due to the demise of MTI, we too have lost a substantial amount of money, not only due to the investment we have had with them, but also the revenue stream of advertising. 
So yes, finalmente global has gone bye bye as well it's on the wayside. And you know what? All of these platforms, I I'm telling you, don't fall in love because eventually, of course, we all hope you know longer and later rather than sooner that they will fold so that we can at least get some profits out of there. But you just never know with um, you never know with the Roni Ronas. You never know with the current economic state of the world you just don't know so instead of falling in love instead of compounding instead of leaving it up to chance or things like this happening best to take out your even with crypto ladies and gents xrp you know what's happening with that it is you know being sought after by the SEC, so, <laughs> and it's being delisted on a lot of exchanges. I keep getting emails from all the uh, exchanges or places or platforms that I, you know, have signed up an account with saying that they're delisting XRP. So, again, don't fall in love, ladies and gents. Take profits when you can. Withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. That is the lesson of the day. Even with things like this, you guys and gals know how much I love these kinds of things. But do I love them to the point where I will just leave all my money in there and keep mindlessly buying into it? No, of course not. Even with Cash FX and Cubatech, as much as I really enjoy both of these, don't think for a second that I am not withdrawing every single opportunity that I can. Again, I have learned my lesson. Compounding is the killer of your wallet. It is. Yes, I know Einstein said to compound is to uh, is one of the world's, you know, wonders. But also know that compounding in something like this, where you are not in total control, is not a good idea. Again, not financial advice, but just learn, people. Learn from my experiences. I, again, have been through the many difficult and expensive lessons that, and hard lessons that, like, I just, I am trying to share with you now because, again, I am a vlogger. I am out here to give you info, especially if you're involved with one of these, right, especially if you are in Cubitech or CashFX right now make sure you're smart about it make sure you know what you're getting into and make sure you know how to get the heck out <laughs> when you need to you know i've had questions on um, people asking me like how do i get my payment out of like for example cash fx know that you're buying a product ladies and gents and you possibly could ask support to get a refund but let's say you went and bought i don't know a book right or let's say you bought into rich dad poor dad's course now you can ask for a refund. I don't know if they'll give you one, but you are buying a product. So just know that you are buying a product with both of these and that you are getting something with that product with Cash FX. They have the trading pool with Cubitech. You have the licenses and this is how you get your weekly payouts. So just know that you can't just close and be like, oh, I'll take my um, money back. No, because then you're essentially asking for a refund. Again, you could try to contact support and see what they say about it. But again, ladies and gents, know what you're getting into and don't fall in love as much as you love this purple ball of goodness know that get your profits out know that don't just keep mind numbingly and mindlessly buying licenses or even this one don't just keep mindlessly upgrading packages yes please make sure you know what you're getting into make sure that you understand that at any time any time what happened to South, uh, mirror trading or final mente can happen to Cubitech and Cash FX. Especially again with the Rony Ronas, I can't emphasize that enough. <laughs> but listen, if you're smart about it and you have been withdrawing, guess what? You have been rewarded because you probably opened up your Exodus wallet or whichever wallet you're using to pull out your payments and depositing it 
in there, you probably open it and you're like, oh my gosh, just from letting it sit there. In fact, let me share a quick lesson with you. I had a friend who did my micro profits with me. She, that was the first time she even opened up an Exodus wallet or even did anything with crypto. So I told her, be smart, withdraw all the time. And so she did up until the very end of my micro profits, right? To when there was no more, <laughs> my no more withdrawals from my micro profits. But she kept withdrawing and guess what ladies and gents the the crypto that she has in the wallet which was um way uh, i would say like she started out with a small amount not nothing too crazy in fact this is what she did she took one of her rebates from one of her cards so you get cash back she took that cash and she bought crypto and she put it into my micro profits and i want to say she started out with maybe 500 she put some in there she didn't put the whole thing she just put maybe half into my micro profits and then she withdrew 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 and guess what ladies and gents her her usdt value of um or her usd value of bitcoin in her exodus wallet nearly tripled and that was just from the beginning of or I, I would say like summertime, right, is when we did my micro profits. So from the summertime, her 300 has almost tripled, you know, including taking everything into account what she took out from my micro profits. She didn't even pull out her full, like she wasn't able to break even with my micro profits, but because she withdrew all the time, every time that she could, and she just left it in Exodus, guess what? she has now tripled. So if she wanted to, she could totally cash out at 3x, right? Her Bitcoin. So there you go, ladies and gents. That is the lesson of the day. Don't fall in love. No, and withdraw, withdraw, withdraw from anything you're involved, whether it's something like these things, Cubitech or Cash FX, whether it's a hype, whether it's just holding your crypto, right? Take some profit. Like, let's say you started off with a thousand and you have now three exited, like my friend. Take out the thousand at least, take out 1500 and leave the rest in there if you want to. Don't get crazy, <laughs> right? Don't just be smart. Learn from what has happened to all these other companies, whether you were in them or not. Hopefully, if you were in them, that you were able to get some money out. And oh, if you were in Meritrading International, I think there's a form you can fill out to try to get some of your Bitcoin back. Um, I talked about it with Nobody Crypto and some other YouTubers on his live stream on Wednesday. So yeah, just know about that kind of stuff as well, right? So. Again, ladies and gents, be smart. Don't fall in love and withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. That is the lesson of the day. Anyways, thank you. Thank you again for stopping by. Please have a great day or night wherever you are. And if you have not already, please like, please subscribe, please share so that I will get to that 2000 subs. That way I will give away more of my BTC as a thank you. And as always, please stay safe, especially in this crazy times that we live in, ladies and gents. Please stay healthy. Please stay sane, most important of all. And I will see you at the next video. Adios.